Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. We're gonna part 36, so let's play Final Fantasy VI Advance, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, as you can tell, I'm back here fighting another Entanger, seeing as though I got the Confuse and Smoke Bomb trick wrong. What you're actually supposed to do is activate the Smoke Bomb when Confuse is being cast. Not before it's cast, but during. And watch what happens when you do. Granted, Confuse still has to connect. There are some cases where we'll miss. Preferably use this on someone that's got like a thousand HP or more, so that they can survive the meteor counter. And there, you win! It's that simple. And you get 10 ability points, or magic ability points, for each battle. So if you have any spells that you can learn with 10x or more, you can learn that spell on just one battle, instantly. Now why it is you never saw any AP show up is because, ah, footage, I learned every spell for every character. You know, well, almost every spell. There are still some I cannot get yet, but we'll worry about that another time. As for Strago, he learned a lot of lores, ah, footage. Doom, I learned from Gao Zombie Dragon Rage. Roulette, I learned from an Onion Knight. You're supposed to have Realm sketch an Onion Knight so that he can use it on his own. Aqua Breath, we already had. Revenge Blast, White Wind. Level 5 Death, Level 4 Flare, Level 3 Confuse, I got from the Trappers on the Velt. A Discord, I got from Satellite. You have to wait a while, like 9 turns, and then it'll cast on you. Transfusion, I got from Gao's Entanger Rage. You don't want to use that, because even if it does fully heal an ally, it will cost you your life and your MP. And self-destruct I learned from a bomb. And that's very simple, that's all you need to do! Now, where I found the bomb was actually not on the Velt. There's a forest west of the Velt that you could not access by any other means except your airship. And that's not it over there, it's this right here. You can find bombs, and you can also find a rare encounter that you can either fight in the woods, or against a flame eater. Here, I'll show ya. It's called a grenade, and you can steal flame scrolls, too. As for flame scrolls, I bought plenty in Kolingen, and you're gonna find out why later. Hang on, number 97, so that means I'm still missing an enemy somewhere. I wish I remembered where exactly. Hang on a second. Let me think about this on my own. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I figured out what entry number 97 in the bestiary was. Turns out it's in Tanger, and what I was doing does not count as a kill. So I'm gonna wait till I'm much stronger before I can fill that entry in, but at least I have the rage, and that's all that matters. Okay, I think now we're well prepared and we can fight. Finally, head over to the floating continent. Alright, let's find a way onto that thing. Form a party of three. Why? I don't know, but guess we're gonna find out real soon. Everyone else, below deck. I don't know why exactly it has to be a party of three if you clearly have, like, four people you can use on a party. But this is the party I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Terra, Locke, and Strago. Trust me, he's gonna come in handy. We're flying up! Let's go. What's this? Uh oh, we're being interrupted. That's not good. Uh oh! It's the Imperial Air Force! They got us surrounded! We're gonna have to engage them! Unfortunately, that is true. So, yeah, this is the enemies we gotta take on Sky Armors and Spitfire. The Spitfire can be a pain in the ass, trust me on this one. Luckily, all of them are weak against electric attacks. So use your Thundara spells to your heart's content. Strago can use level 5 death on the Spitfires too, to take them out. But you know, they only work on the Spitfires and not any of the Sky Armors. Keep that in mind. Ooh, yeah, that's a pretty good choice. I think Terra and Strago are gonna have to handle the Thundaras. Locke will just have to attack, or possibly steal. 
Oh good, I can change my espers, because none of them are equipped. Okay, let's see. Lock, you should put on, say... It'll be a good one for you. I think it could use more HP still. Uh, Terra Strago is closest, so he'll have Zona Seeker. And... As for Terra, why don't we put on Phantom? So you can get more MP. Okay, let's get well healed, and let's go again. Unfortunately, you're forced to have multiple encounters with these guys. After a while, you should be able to get to a boss. So just give it everything you got against them. It's that simple. Yeah, Absolute Zero I don't like because it's a powerful ice move. Or maybe I can have Lock use Thundar, but use it on the single target. He thinks that would be a better idea. Okay, let's see. Yeah, White Wind is way more costly than a Kiraga. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, this works. This really works. I see no reason to steal from these guys. Let me check their bestiary entries. Do they have anything good to steal? Uh, Ether and Elixir and Ether. Eh, you can buy those, so I'm not gonna buy any. Come on, what's next? Sadly, you cannot go downstairs. Same formation again. In some instances, you'll fight a Spitfire and a Sky Armor. Just one of each. Most times you're likely to face both of them. Well, two Sky Armors and a Spitfire, I mean. Okay, as long as I keep this up, I should do just fine. Win these battles easily. Good to know I'm getting lots of experience as a result. Don't worry, I can take this all day. The Blackjack can take quite a beating. So I wonder why the Imperials are actually attacking. He's like, I'm pretty sure Gestal and Kefka forsaken the entire Empire. Seems all they got a floating continent. So, are they actually helping? Are they sentient beings at all? I have no idea. So what's going on? Doesn't look good at all. Okay, as long as you're keeping yourself healed, you should be just fine. Everybody's got Osmos if they're low on magic. So that's completely covered. Eh, why don't I steal from you? Hey, free either! Yay! And I got Terra equipped with the uh, Thunderblade. So I think it's called a Thunder Blade. Is it th Thunder Blade or Thunder Sword? Wait, there's something strange up ahead. It's coming this way. Uh, which way? Oh dear God. Ah, uh, yeah, it is Thunder Blade. I see something floating. It's pink and got yellow teeth. I don't want to know what that is. Okay, now there's a single Sky Armor and Spitfire. I'll have Locke use Thundara on this guy. Because Spitfire is a greater threat. In the meantime, I think I'll have Terra use Osmos on the Sky Armor. Will I get much magic though? I don't know. Ah, 102! <laughs> Close enough. That's more than covered. Oh, lock in the level. Good job. Just, what is that pink thing, anyway? It's just looking so stoically to the left. Just floating. Oh, let, me, let me keep an eye on it. Okay, I'm having more encounters than I'd like. <sighs> Absolute zero again. Hate that move. Yeah, I'm gonna Osmos you. Okay, let me use Thundara. 
It's just too bad you can only target one side at a time. But it can't be helped. I mean, I could have Strago use his Aqua Breath. I don't know if it'll work wonders against these guys. Because that does target all sides. As far as I know. But it's not a serious issue. Okay, there we go. I just, what is it intending to do? Wait a minute, is there somebody on Oh, dear God. No, I wanted to target Ultros, damn it. Oh, there we go. It was forced. No, really? This is our last battle. Honest. Why are you floating in the sky? Thanks for the dried meat, though. I was supposed to get a white cape, though, but whatever. Let's start with the traditional Fyra attack. And let's see. Looks like I lose again! But today I brought along a buddy of mine! Mr. Typhon, come on down! Vrunga! He's not so great with words, but his strength will blow you away! Hehehe! <laughs> If you actually leave this battle going along for a long time, you can actually hear some interesting dialogue from those two. Well, mostly Ultros. He usually tells you the life story of how he and Typhon met. Yeah, it's pretty kooky if you ask me. Ah, I got a dagger -y. though I can care less about it. Ultros is weak against fire and poison, Typhon is weak against ice. Keep that in mind. Uh, let me try an Osmos Typhon. I like to get a healthy dose of magic. Okay, let me ask Drago use Bio this time. This should take out Ultros, I hope. Damn it! Uh, luckily, Strago's magic is unaffected. Eh, let me toast Ultros once and for all. You, Terra, you use Blizzara. Oh, Ultros is still alive. He's tough, I will admit. <laughs> tough, ugly, ugly. Oh yeah, and he's ugly too. Eh, he's not so that tough. Still ugly though. Let me use another Blizzara. Actually, it's better Terra use it. All that's left is Typhon. Got him! Well, he does snort us off the airship, but technically you still win. Don't worry, this is supposed to happen. Wait, they didn't steal our airship, did they? And now we gotta take on the real boss, Air Force with laser gun and missile battery. And all these are weak against thunder, so use it. I'll start with a missile bay. Strago, why don't you use Aqua Breath here? It'll come in handy in this fight. Actually, I'll have Terra use that. Yes, we are still falling to infinity. There's no time limit. You will fall forever until the battle is won. Seriously. Let's see if I can steal something from that missile bay if it's still alive. Oh, it's gone. All that's left is the laser gun. Yeah, I got an elixir. Uh, I think this would be a good time to heal. Man, stop spamming the Magi Tech laser. Oh, good, Akira. Oh, good to use Phantom. If it's gonna be using magic moves like Magi Tech Laser. Let me see if I can steal something from the laser gun. Never mind! It's gone! Enemy has no items. I'm not worried. Okay, now it's launching a bit, and the thing is, it absorbs magic. So take it out quickly. Luckily, it's quite weak. So don't bother using magic on the Air Force at all. And steal. Uh-oh. 
I don't know what kind of magic can still work on it. Here, let me try another Thundara. It is runicable, unfortunately. So yeah, the air bit will absorb... I mean, the bit will absorb it. As soon as you can take it out, you can use magic again. Now take this guy out fast before that count gets to zero, otherwise it will use Wave Cannon, and that hurts. So just spam Thundara with your best magic users. And we'll just spam Thundara altogether, because Locke's not, not going to do much good with his physical attacks. Got him! Nice shot, Locke. That was just what we needed. I have no idea how we can stand perfectly straight, and there's a shadow around our feet! Because I think that's a shadow. That could be just a sprite border. But we get a princess ring, if you care about that. Just ahead are Kefka, Gestel, and the Warring Triad. And this place gets its own music, too! Kick ass! Wait a minute, there's somebody laying there. Filthy, double-crossing empire. Tried to off me the second I had served my purpose. Shadow! We thought you were dead! Is Interceptor alright? He's fine! Come on, let's go! Just leave me here. Sorry, that's not happening. Yep, now we got Shadow in our party again. Eh, you can go to the front. Actually, no, you can go to the back. I'm also going to be using you for your throwing stuff anyway. That's why I bought a lot of those scrolls. Okay, let's get you well equipped. Uh, green berets again. Power sash. Now, what relics be good for you? I think we'll go with one you and Realm can equip. A memento ring. And say... No, not a white cape. We'll go with an earring. That should boost your scroll power. And as for an Esper, I think it'd be a good idea for you to learn from Seraph. Are you close to gaining a level? Oh god, not even close. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video here. Next part, we're finally gonna go through the floating continent. See ya.